Chad here with Purple Collar Life. Tonight I borrowed Dad's Ford Aid and tractor and the brush hog. I got some brush hog work I want to get done. I like to keep the areas along the edge of the woods from the yard brush hog. I like to keep the area behind the big building brush hog. I thought I'll go ahead and bring it up today so that I can get some of that brush hogging done. You can see it's already starting to get dark. The, the fall here, the, the day goes so quickly when you get home from work, the dark comes on uh, pretty early. So. So you can see this is one of the early Ford 8N tractors. It has been converted to 12 volt just recently and my dad's really happy with it. But you can see it's got the front distributor. It's one of the ways you distinguish between the early 8Ns and the later 8Ns. But one of the ways you know it's an 8N and not a 2N by the brake pedal setup. We've got both brakes on the same side, the clutch on the opposite side. And you can tell by the rear wheels that it's an 8 end. So we'll get started though. We need to get this brush hogging going. We've got the six foot woods Dixie cutter and it does a good job.
So while we're here, just talk a little bit about this Ford 8N tractor. This tractor has actually been on this family land since it was brand new in the late 40s. There were two of them as a pair. Uh, this was the first of the two, and the two Ford 8N tractors took care of all the property and land maintenance for what was at the time a Shetland pony farm. And uh, this land that I built my house on is part of that original homestead land, and then the land that my parents built their house on when I was in school is also part of that homestead land. I really like the fact that this tractor that belonged to my great uncle Don and my great uncle Bob uh, stayed here on the land the entire time and has passed through generations. My dad uses this tractor all the time at his house and I appreciate that he lets me borrow it once in a while to do the brush hogging or whatever uh, work I need to do with it. These Ford 8N tractors are just so reliable, easy to maintain, uh, and they do a great job. They're heavy enough to do some good ground engaging work when you need to and they're they're strong enough to do something like the the brush hog or a finish mower behind you uh, so really there's a lot of use these are really a utilitary type of tractor and they've been in a lot of farms from the 1930s 40s 50s 60s clear through now uh, i don't i think i've said before i started out this property with just with a cub cadet little 149 hydrostatic tractor and it didn't take me long to find out that I needed something bigger. So my first farm style tractor was a Ford 2N and I'll show some pictures of that here. I, to clear some of this land with just a back blade um, and that was all I had and that was and I made that work and then I used that 2N to mow with the finish mower behind me. So again, these, these are great old tractors. We're just about out of light for tonight, but I'll let you see a view down the right away here of how much we got done. I made one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven swaths. Some of the, there are some pretty good saplings, maybe an inch in diameter or so. But since we're almost out of time here for the light, I'm going to just do along the edge of the driveway where the where I let it grow and the deer usually bed down. I'll take care of that now that the fawns are grown enough that, that they're not just laying down in there. And then uh, we'll put the tractor away for the night and call it an evening. If you like videos like this, click that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Again, we really appreciate that help, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again the next time.